All right. Happy Thursday morning. Good morning. Welcome to Functional Strength. I'm studying for Chiron today. We're going to get a great workout. You are going to need light, moderate, and heavy weights just to have some options. Definitely um, something heavy for our second circuit. Our first circuit will be body weight, and this is functional strength. So we are mainly doing strength, but I'm adding a little bit of cardio um, to the workout as well. Okay, just to switch things up. A um, couple of balance movements. We're gonna work a little bit of everything this morning. Okay, so let's start with our warm up. Feet nice and wide. Big arm circles to get us going. Big inhale, reach those arms up. And then exhale, down and around. So we're, again, we're doing upper body, lower body, core, a little bit of everything today. You wanna grab those weights, have all different kinds of weights with you, light, moderate, and heavy. So you have those options. <clears throat> Let's do two more big arm circles. And one more. And now let's do a full body roll, starting with the shoulder roll. Inhale, keep those feet nice and wide. You're gonna bend the knees, roll it down, and then exhale, roll it up. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, lower. Exhale, roll it up. One more time. And let's stay nice and low, bring those feet out a little bit wider. Move those hips around. So gently press against those knees to warm up the hips and get into those inner and outer thighs. We'll drop that left shoulder in for a little spinal twist. Inhale, come up. Exhale, let's drop the other shoulder. And back to the center. Roll it on up. All right, let's come down and do a walkout. We'll just do this for 30 seconds. You're going to do your hinge. Hips go back. Hands come to the mat. Plank walkout. And then you're going to walk back up. So go ahead and start. Nice and easy. Warming up the core. Also getting that upper body nice and warm. Taking it nice and slow. This is just a warm up exercise. Keeping your core also nice and strong here. <clears throat> and just setting up into that plank for really just a second or two. So we will do one more. You'll do one more, and then I'm going to ask you to stay down low. And right from that plank, you're going to position yourself into a down dog. So go ahead and set up and press those hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Huddle out your heels here. And press those, your chest towards your thighs. Nice morning stretch. And go ahead and lower those knees to the floor. Let's find a nice child's pose. Knees wide, feet together, and sit back into those hips, stretching out that low back. In case this is the first thing that you were doing this morning, so just want to get a little gentle stretch going before we start the workout. Let's go ahead and roll up to standing. Nice and slow. Head comes up last. So I'll do two more stretches here for you. One more for chest and shoulders. This will be sort of like a doorway stretch. So you're going to take those arms up overhead, and as you exhale, you're going to bend your elbows, pull them down. All right? And as you inhale, I want you to lean forward with your chest, sort of arch your back here a little bit, and then exhale, pull your elbows in, lean forward two more times. So inhale, see if you're going through a doorway. Exhale, round the spine, pull in. One more, pull those elbows back, then press forward with that chest. And then exhale, perfect. Release the arms. Our second one is for those hips. Always do this one, this feels good. Drawing circles with those knees. I always go in towards the midline and then out, but you can also take it out and then in. That will warm up your, your glutes a little bit more. And then stretch to anything else that you need to, right? Make sure you have your water, your coffee, whatever works, <laughs> um, plenty of space, and we're gonna get started. So our first circuit, we've got four exercises. It's really just three, but our third one is going to be one side, and we'll switch. Okay? And again, we're using, oh, this is just body weight. Just kidding. So body weight to start. Only 30 seconds through, three rounds. And we get started with the side-to-side -side push up So we're getting right into those push-ups <clears throat> right away. So side-to-side, -side, you have your hands together. You're going to go out to one side, lower into that push-up. 
Come back to the center, and then go to the other side. So you can do these on your knees or your toes. You can fold your mat under for your knees, and we're gonna start right there. So come on down with me. And remember for those push-ups, you're making the letter A with your arms. So your elbows go straight back rather than out to the side, okay? So you're gonna get that heart rate up 30 seconds. We'll stand up after this exercise, okay? Side to side push-ups in three, two, and let's do it. So on your knees or toes, it's up to you. Just as long as you keep good form. Go out to the side, lower to the floor, back to the center, and then the other side. Now, if your wrists or shoulders are feeling a little sensitive this morning, you may choose to do a chest press in place of this. It's only 30 seconds. I normally do 45. So just 30. So working the core, shoulder, shoulders, and chest. Three, two, and one. Stand up just a few seconds in between. This one's a little more cardio. Okay. We're going to do a tap down, okay? So nice wide squat, tap the floor, and then come on up, okay? If you want low impact, you're just going to get low and take that jump out. 30 seconds. Let's do it. So a little cardio here to start. Tap down, squat, so you're reaching the floor. Nice wide squat. Your chest will lower a little bit but we don't want it to fall over completely, right? We really want you to get those hips. Yes, nice and low for me. Keep it up. Keep it up, keep it up. Couple more seconds. Three, two, and one. Next one, it's gonna be a lunge with a swing. So we're gonna step back with the right leg, lunge. You're gonna swing, kick through, lunge. Swing, kick through. The other opposite arm is going to reach for that foot. And you're going to flex that foot. Low, medium, high, whatever works for you. Let's do the right leg first. Let's do it. Lunge, and then kick. Sort of like a swing, though, actually. We'll call it a swing kick. Because you actually keep your legs straight as opposed to an actual kick, right? So down, swing, kick. Getting into those hamstrings, keeping your chest up, getting as low as you'd like. Maybe that knee even touches the floor behind you in your lunge. All right, let's switch other side. So it's fast. This is exercise four. Other side. So once you use your core to swing that leg through, yeah? Down, swing. So we're not rushing the movement. You wanna make sure your hip, knee, and ankle are a nice straight line. You got a couple more seconds. Core nice and strong. Three, two, and one. 10 seconds, let's go back and repeat. So back to our push-ups. So we'll move a little bit faster this time. Here we go, side to side push-ups. In three, two, let's do it. So I fold my mat under twice. Inhale, lower, exhale up, out to the side, and lower. So you wanna think of stitching that rib cage together here, tucking those hips under just a little bit, and we're not rushing any movement here. Maybe the second one, that squat, touch down, but nice and slow, elbows back, keep your neck long. Three, two, one, stand up, here we go. Touchdown squat in three, two, let's do it. So I'm only giving you about five seconds to transition. I know it's tricky. You got this. Just keep moving. We gotta go through these one more time after this set. Perfect, beautiful. Couple more seconds, only 30. Each round, keep it up. All right, you've got three, two, and one. You're gonna lunge, swing and kick. Let's go. Down, right leg. 30 seconds. So get nice and low on that lunge. Hips down, remember the chest stays up, perfect. Swing and kick. 
Beautiful. Couple more seconds. Let me switch sides. Core nice and strong here. A lot of balance. Switch, other leg. Step back, swing kick. So functional movement, working on our balance with this one, working on that core. Maybe you lower that knee to the floor and practice getting up from the floor. Also really functional, right? When we're down on the floor, have to make sure we build that strength in our lower body and our core to lift ourselves back up. Three, two, all right, let's go back down. Push-ups, final round. Here we go, in three, two, go. Final round, or chest press, right? Try to lower your chest and your hips. Ooh, all the way to the floor like I'm doing. All the way to the floor, try it. It's only for 30 seconds, so you're only gonna get a couple of really good reps in there. I'm not concerned with the quantity, but the quality. So each one, try to get nice and low, elbows back. Don't worry about getting a bunch in there. Three, two, let's stand up. Touchdown squats. In three, two, let's go. So I'm just taking up the jump here, right? But you can add that jump. Looking for a little cardio here. It's a wide squat and the key is to drop those hips. Yes. So you're trying to touch the floor in between. Perfect, keep going. Less than 10, beautiful, you ladies got it. We got two more after this and then we'll grab those weights. All right, swing kick, right leg, let's do it. So maybe again, you come all the way down. Woo, that definitely makes it a lot harder, not only for those legs, but really for your core, right? Because your arms are just out to the side, they're not really helping. So if that's okay with your knee, just tap it to the floor, lose all that momentum, beautiful, and then come back up, perfect. You got three, two, other side, let's go. So as soon as we're done with this, we're gonna grab the weights. We'll start with light. We're gonna do a little bit of, keep moving here, upper body, an upper body set, and then a lower body set. Keeping that heart rate up a little bit of cardio. But adding the weights to work our muscles while we're doing that. Three, two, and stop. Okay, here are your two upper body. Light weights is my suggestion, okay? We're in the nice sumo plie squat, whatever you wanna call it, and we're gonna punch, all right? And then we're gonna keep those arms extended and do some circles. That's why I say light, but you can always grab something a little bit heavier. Let's start. This is gonna be also 30 seconds twice through, then we hit lower body, all right? Plie squat with those punches. Open up from those hips. Let's go. Nice and low. Punch, punch. So these are diagonal punches and you're rotating and twisting from your torso. Hips stay forward, right? Nice and low, now plie squat. So not just upper body, but also a little lower body. Now you could just do the arms if you like. We are gonna hit lower body after this. Couple more seconds. Three, two, one. Keep those arms up and run a circle. Up and over, tiny circles, tiny circles. You can just stay in that plie. Once you pull those abs in, no. Tiny circles, up and over. Let's reverse the circles. Down, up and over. Arms are straight, arms are straight. We gotta do it one more time through, so good time to adjust the weights if you need to. We've got three, Two, punches, let's go. We just go right into it. Woo, so again, you can come out of that squat. We hit lower body after this. Boom, boom. Maybe you grab heavier weights. We do this one more time through. Punch, punch. Once a nice full extension. I think I punched a little too hard yesterday. I'm feeling my, feeling my bicep. 
Keep going a few more seconds. Remember, it's boom. Nice, Linda. Beautiful. Boom. Boom. All right, arms straight. Circle. Up and around. Small circles. Arms are straight. The right shoulder height. Circle and circle. Arms should be shaking here. If not, grab something heavier for that next exercise. Reverse those circles. You have 15 seconds here if you can grab something heavier. Pull those abs in. Nice and strong. Circle, arm straight, circle. We've got four. Beautiful. Three, almost like pulses. Two and one. Perfect. All right, lower body. You can hold heavy weights for this one. All right. Squat, lift, or a mini jump. We're not going all too crazy with the jumps. 30 seconds. And then we're just gonna do a squat hold with our arms extended. So I have one heavier dumbbell. 30 seconds, squat to heel lift or a mini jump. Here we go, weight is here. So down and lift. We can do a mini jump where you're barely coming off the floor. This is low impact. Or you can just do down and lift, up to you. Down and lift, so it's only 30 seconds. And you got 10 more to go. Heavy weight right at your chest. Woo. So this is our lower body burnout. Okay, hold that squat. Hold it here, extra intensity. Arms out to work your core. If you're feeling your back arch, bring that, fit that dumbbell back to your chest. I want you to pull those abs in, tuck your hips under, less than 15. So only try that extension if you can keep a nice flat back. Shoulders out of your ears. Come on. Three, two, one. That's the chest. Let's go. Round two. Down and lift. Last round. Maybe a mini hop. Up to you. As long as you're feeling those quads start to burn and you are doing it right. Less than 15 seconds. We'll get a break after this. So heart rates should be up. Muscles should be burning. Remember, you're pushing your hips way back. You want to fill those glutes. And hold it. Hold it. 30 seconds hold. So I'm sort of tucking those hips under, flattening my back so I don't feel my low back here. I don't feel all the way back there. But I'm feeling my arms. Woo! Maybe drop a little lower. Oh my goodness. Less than 10 seconds, shoulders out of your ears. Hold it. Perfect, a few more seconds, drop a little lower. Tuck those hips. Three, two, one. Woo, great job. All right, we'll take a minute, grab some water. How are we doing? Thumbs up, we're good, awesome. Okay, so let's move on. So first circuit, was body weight. Our second one's gonna be with those weights. Do, do. So moderate, uh, moderate and heavy. So I mean, whatever that is for you, right? So ideally a little bit heavier than what we were using for some of the cardio exercises, okay? So first one, we really only have two in this sequence. It's just gonna be right and then left. So we don't have to switch halfway through and you get plenty of time to work on the right side and the left side. So first one is gonna be a sumo into a side leg lift. Okay, so back to that sumo, plie, in and out of thighs. We'll go to the left first. So sumo and then upright row as you add a leg lift. So sumo, bring the feet together. Woo, upright row as you do your leg lift. This is tricky because of the balance portion. Okay, one more time. Down, upright row. Hands come right here. Elbows do not come up here, they're right about there. All right, so let's start with the left side first because I always do the right, so we're gonna switch it up. Moderate weight, three, two, left side, let's go. So big step up, sumo, feet come together, and then upright row with that leg raise, tricky. And just repeat, 30 seconds. Nice and low. 
to that standing leg that's supporting you is always slightly bent. That leg raise can be low, medium, high, all depends on your flexibility in those hips. One more. And let's just do the other side. Same thing. Now, the right, because we started with the left. Ooh, this side is much, much easier for me. <laughs> and you might find that too. Nice and slow, back never arches while we're doing this. I'll do this first round with you. I'll check in for a second round. Check everyone's four, make sure we're good. We're gonna grab heavier weights in three, two, and one. So if you don't already have your heavy weights, you're gonna grab them. Here we go, right leg, big step back, low lunge, row, and then drive that knee up. Woo, we're working on the glutes here. Working on that booty. Drive that knee, okay? Right leg first, heavy weights. And then come right to that rib cage, right? Rib cage and hip area for the row, elbows back. Benny set, right leg, let's go. Big step, pull back, and then that knee comes right to your chest. And then it goes right back. So not only do you feel your standing leg, but you're also gonna feel the one that steps back. Woo, work on those glutes. If you need to, you can step in the center and then bring it up. It's almost like we're going into warrior three pose in yoga, but we step back instead of balance. Let's switch, left leg, let's go. And once you start to get the hang of it, and it's much easier for me, then maybe you speed it up a little bit, but just a tiny bit. I want you to focus more. I'm getting really low in that lunge. Keep going as if you're picking up weight from the floor, right? That's how low I want you to be. And then when you're here, your nice and tall chest is up and that knee is nice and high to your chest. Three, two, and one. Perfect, so those are our three. Let's come back to our sumo squat. So you could drop the weight a bit or keep the weight. We do the left leg first. Let's go, step out. Feet come together, upright row, side leg lift. A lot of balance here, really important for us to work on. And remember with the upright row, your shoulders actually stay down, okay? And you're just, it's like you're sliding something straight up without crunching your shoulders to your ears, right? One more on the side. Switch sides. I have to point my toe when I do my woo, side leg lift. You can practice that too. It makes me think of standing up a little bit taller when I do that. <laughs> Maybe it's just mental. So I want you to imagine a piece of string on top of your head, lifting you up, and also tucking those hips under and keeping that core nice and strong. Beautiful, let's do one more. Beautiful, Katie. Yep, perfect. Okay, let's go into that row. Three, two, heavy weight, right leg, let's go. Big step back, row, balance. I also point my toe there, just out of habit. That one doesn't really matter. You can flex the foot actually if you want to engage your hamstring a little bit. Row. Nice and tall, keep it up. Remember it's just 30 seconds. Get really low here. Shoulders out of your ears. All right, switch left leg. Nice, easy flow and transition. Can you get a little lower? Keep it up. Nice flat back. Yes, beautiful. Good, Linda. Nice, good, Julianne. Yep, get nice and low on that lunge. As if you are lowering your knee or your hands to the floor. Three, two, back to number one. Side squat or sumo with upright row, left side, let's do it. Let's go right into it, boom. Last time, we're not speeding it up, right? 
Maybe you grab heavier weights. Maybe you just get a little bit lower in your sumo. Maybe you raise your leg a little higher. Keep it up. I don't know about you, but my heart rate is up. We're not even doing any cardio. Nice and slow, practicing that balance, squeezing all those smaller, stabilize your core muscles, right? Last one, chest up, other side. Go right into it. So imagine that you're lowering your weights to the floor. Yes, beautiful. Woof, keep it up. Nice and slow, perfect. So you feel every muscle working here. Yes, very good. Perfect. Tracking those knees right over to, on top of your toes, right? And one more rep. One more rep. Big step back, lunge and row. Let's go. So I'm gonna grab a little bit more weight here. Go ahead and start with that right leg. I just added the lighter. I'm holding two dumbbells. So if you don't have any heavier, that's a great option. Really pull those elbows back. Come on, big, these are big muscles. Your lats, everything in your back, come on. And maybe you get a little lower, right? Woof. That also then makes it hard to press into that standing foot and lift the opposite knee up to your chest. Go ahead and switch sides. Go ahead and switch. Nice and low. Oh, I forgot the row. <laughs> Try to find that balance, right? Try to bring that leg straight up and then straight back without stopping in the middle, if you can. Perfect. Couple more reps. All right, do one more rep. And then we're gonna go into upper body. All right, perfect. So. We're back to the light dumbbells, upper body, a little bit of cardio, okay? So what we're gonna do are T jumping jacks, low impact or high impact. Arms here, this is T. So we're getting that upper back, posture muscles, okay? You can add the jump if you wanted to. I'm gonna stay right here though, okay? So one should be nice and careful with the arm movement. Um, and then we have an iron cross hold, it's a hollow hold on your back, but with weights for the core. Here we go. T jacks. Let's just all do low impact. I don't want you to jump. I changed my mind. Ready, set, light weights, let's go. So open, close, open, close. Because really the focus is on the upper body anyways. I'm just doing sort of a tap. Slight bend in those elbows. And think of squeezing a pencil in between your shoulder blades, okay? So I'll show you from the side. Notice also that my arms don't go out too far like this. Keep them right there. Woo, you're gonna feel it. Make sure those shoulders don't creep up. All right, come on down for hollow hold. I'm sorry, iron cross. Making a cross with your body, pushing your back into the floor. Let's go. <clears throat> so head, neck, and shoulders are lifted. Your legs are lifted and your arms are out. The only thing touching the floor is your back, your low back. And you're just gonna hold it. Just hold it right there with those weights. <clears throat> you have about 15 more seconds, hold it. Just look up, keep that chin up, keep your gaze up. Tuck those hips under. Last couple seconds, I want you to lift your legs and reach the arms for your feet like a pike up, inhale lower. Exhale, lift. Let's try it two more times. Inhale and exhale. One more. A lot of core here. Exhale. All right, let's stand up. Perfect. Let's come back. Round two. T jacks in three, two. Let's go. Woo. Let's go. Open and close. So that iron cross, I added four of those lifts. Keep going. I just want you to watch. Keep going. 15 more seconds. So this was your iron cross, and then you lift up like that, okay? And we're gonna do that again. Nice and slow. You have five more seconds here. Boom. We've got three, two, one. Iron cross hold, come on down. We're gonna hold it first. Three, two, 
Let's go. And of course, you could just do body weight too, but light weights, just enough to feel that burn, right? Hold it. Legs as low as you can without arching your back. Continue to hold it and breathe. Hold it, hold it, hold it. <laughs> Last 10 seconds. All right, let's go ahead and lift. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. I want you to pause at the top. Inhale, lower, pause at the bottom. Exhale, lift, pause. One more, inhale, lower, pause. Exhale, lift and hold it and then relax. Woo, great job. Everybody, lower body, let's stand up. So again, just showing that we want to do those movements nice and slow, not rush through them or use momentum to lift up, right? Because you'll feel it more if you slow it down. Okay, lower body. We've got ski jumpers, right? With those weights, light weights. You can actually add that hop. I'm gonna keep it low impact. And then we're gonna do a chair pose. Hold it here, or maybe arms overhead. I'll remove the weights for that one. You can do whatever you choose. Ski jumpers, let's go. So I'm just doing low impact. And it's sort of like a bicep curl. You're just sort of pushing those weights away from you. But you're getting low into a narrow squat. You can add that actual jump, right? Get nice and low, like you're skiing, right? Keep it up. Hips back. Three, two, chair pose, hold. Hold it. Imagine that chair. Maybe arms are up. I'm doing that without weights. I'm keeping my core nice and strong here. Hold it. You're holding it for 30 seconds. You got 10 more seconds. Everyone drop a little lower. Yeah, I know you can drop lower, Linda. Good, perfect. Shoulders down, chest up. Three, two, ski jumpers, let's go. One more round, let's go. <clears throat> a little bit of cardio with those weights. Come on. Dropping those hips each time you come. Side to side. Maybe adding the hop. Get it nice and low. Keep it up. A few more seconds. Beautiful. Drop those hips. Good, Linda. Yep. Drop those hips, everybody. Even if you're stepping, so got to make it challenging. All right, chair pose. Let's go. Chair pose. I'm just pressing my weights together. Nice and low in this chair. <clears throat> Chest is up, head is up. Feeling those legs start to burn. Hold it. Woo! Drop an inch, less than 10. Maybe extend those arms. Maybe keep them right in front. Beautiful. Legs burning. Three, two, one. Relax. All right. Good job. Grab some water. We are almost done. We got one more circuit. All right. This is body weight, a little more core focused. But we do have, um, our first exercise will be upper and lower body, okay? So three exercises in this one, mainly strength. We're gonna start with those light weights, okay? So we're gonna come back to those biceps. You're gonna do a pulsing skater lunge. You're just gonna pulse and hold it as you're doing some curls, okay? I did this movement in one of my classes earlier this week. It's a bicep curl, but I'm asking you to lift your arms up. They're gonna be just below your shoulders, and it's gonna feel a little bit harder than down here, especially if you don't have heavy weight. It's really hard to get those biceps. So we're gonna lift it up, okay? Just two rounds, so we'll just switch legs halfway. All right, let's start with that one. 30 seconds, we'll start with our right leg behind, and you're just gonna pulse in this movement. Ready, set, arms extended, shoulder height. Let's go. So pulse and curl, pulse and curl. So when you, you actually never come all the way up, you always stay low in that lunge. So we're also burning out the legs here. Not just the arms. Woo, now of course if it's just too much, you can lower your elbows, right? But try to start them up high. 
light weights and your weights are coming right up to your shoulders and you're keeping them down from your ears. We've got three, two, and one. Okay, thread the needle side plank. This is body weight. We're on our left side. Okay, so arm is up. You thread the needle, reach under your cage, but you lift your hips as you do that. And then reset. So lift as you reach under. This can be supported or legs straight out. We're on our left side. Ready, set, in three, two, thread the needle. Arm starts up. Inhale, thread the needle, reach under your ribcage, lift your hips higher, and then reset. So you reach under that ribcage, but you're actually lifting those hips up. 30 seconds. You also do this in a yoga plank on your hand. That's a lot harder. 10 more seconds. Just make sure. Yep. So Joanne, when you reach under, lift your hips higher. There we go. And then there we go, perfect. So every time you, there we go. So really getting those obliques. That's a little harder, perfect. Three, two, and one. Excellent. Before we go to the other side, one more exercise in the circuit, stay low. All right, single leg, down dog. Right leg up, bring it in for a little crunch. Knee to chest. One more time, inhale. Exhale, okay? It's like a slow mountain climber. Right leg, ready, set. Let's go. Inhale, exhale. Reset to plank, knee to chest. Inhale, kick it up. Exhale, plank. Inhale, kick up. Exhale, knee to chest, plank. 15 more seconds, just that right side. And I want you to hold that plank for at least a solid two seconds. So really getting those abs. Perfect, yep. Very good, yep. And remember those hips drop to shoulder height when you come back to your plank. Three, beautiful. Two, everyone stand up. Woo! Here we go, skater. Let's pulse the other leg. Extended bicep curl, let's go. So I recommend the light weights, but you could grab something heavier if that's gonna be a little more challenging for you. So we're just doing the other side. And we've got skater lunge. It's back and to the diagonal a little bit. So get into those hips. Let's go. And you never come all the way up in that lunge. You're always low. Woo, so you should feel those legs burning. If you don't feel the arms yet, bring them a little higher. Maybe add something a little bit heavier. Woo, I'm feeling them now. A couple more seconds. We're so close to being done. Three, two, one, side plank, thread the needle, other side. Now you're on your right. And three, two, let's do it. So inhale, reach under the rib cage, lift those hips, and then reach back up. Under the rib cage, and lift the hips at the same time. Keep going. Reach under, lift those hips, and then reset. Nice and slow. That hand should come right on top of your shoulder. Perfect. Beautiful. Make sure those hips lift. Linda, as you reach under, I probably just can't see. Same thing, Katie. Yep, perfect. You got a couple more seconds. Three, two, and one. Here we go, down dog. Single leg, it's the left leg. Reach up, pull that knee to your chest. Here we go, this is it. Last thing that we do, inhale. Exhale, go ahead and start. Inhale, kick up as high as you can. Pull that knee in as close to your chest as you can. Keep it up. This is how we end. So we'll transition into our cool down right after this. Nice and slow. Inhale, kick up as high as you can. Kick that ceiling. Exhale, bring that knee to your chest. Make sure your neck is long. One more really good rep. Last one, inhale. Oops, and exhale. And then lower the knees. Sit back in the child's pose. Catch your breath. Woo, great job, everybody. Take a couple of deep breaths here. In that child's pose, inhale and exhale. Relax the head in between your arms. 
and slowly walk your hands back up and we're gonna find a tabletop position. Knees under the hips, hands under your shoulders. Inhale, let's drop the belly, lift the chest to tailbone. Exhale, round the spine, tuck the chin. And two more times, nice and easy, inhale. And exhale. One more time, really getting a stretch to the lower back. All right, we're gonna lower onto our chest and belly, quad stretch. I'm all the way down. You're gonna turn your head to the left. Ear comes to the mat or comes to your hand. You're gonna grab that left leg or left foot, pull your knees together, press your thighs into the mat. Head is relaxing. So getting that next stretch here, as well as the quads. And slowly release, gently turn your head, ear to the floor. Now we're looking to the right, right foot, knees together, press and hold. And then release, walk those feet out a little wider than those hips. Relax your legs on the floor, baby cobra. Hands under your shoulders, inhale, press away from the floor. Maybe just a couple inches, elbows in, chest up, and then exhale, lower. One more time. Nice and gentle with your body, not forcing it into any position or pose. And the last time, we're actually gonna tuck our toes and press ourselves all the way up. And then let's gently flip over onto our back. Okay, I'm gonna gently hug those knees into our chest and feel your back start to flatten and decompress. And rock side to side, wiggle your toes and circle your ankles. And then let's come into a uh, figure four pretzel stretch, right leg up first. Inhale and then exhale, you're gonna take that ankle over your knee and just hang out right here. So you want to get into those glutes and hips. Gently press against that knee. Now I want you to keep your upper body relaxed. So pressing against that right knee, whatever leg is on top. Just gentle little push here. All right, go ahead and relax the arms down. Stay in this pretzel position. All right, we're going to do a spinal twist, so arms out to the side, palms up, and you're going to lower your legs to that right side. Whatever leg is on top and whatever knee, whatever direction that knee is pointing to, that's the side you're going to roll over to. And then you're going to look over the opposite shoulder. Gently press down with your foot that's on top. Press down against that other leg to feel that stretch in your opposite hip. And then slowly come back up to the center. Let's shake your legs out and just do the other side. So this time it's your left leg coming up and over. Left ankle over that right knee. Gently press against the left leg while keeping your upper body relaxed. One more breath, arms out to the side, palms up. Now we're gonna lower over to the left side. Get whatever leg is on top, you're gonna drop to that side. Look over that opposite shoulder and then gently push down on the opposite leg with the foot that's crossed. Just a little bit. Feel that stretch in the side body, a little spinal twist and then gently come back up to the center. Extend those legs out. Arms overhead, take an inhale, stretch out the abdominals, and then exhale, roll to the side. And we will finish up here. Maybe a quick down dog before you come all the way up. With those hamstrings and calves. And then when you're ready, just gently roll up to standing. Head comes up last. Couple shoulder rolls at the top. We'll shake those arms out. One final stretch for the shoulders and the chest, sort of like what we did in that warm up. 
You have to squeeze your shoulder blades together, maybe interlace the hands, pull them down and away from your shoulders, keep your head up, and hold it for four, shoulders down, three, two, and one. Oof. All right, inhale, reach up, exhale, shake it out one more time, big deep breath, and exhale. Great job, happy Friday Eve. Thanks for coming, making the time to work out this morning. You are awesome. How do you do?